Migraines are constant pounding headaches that affect one side of the head and often occur with sensory disturbance like vision, sound, smell, sensitivity to light, feeling sick, and vomiting. Migraines are caused by abnormal activities in the brain, where the neurons in the brain stem become excited and dilate blood vessels affecting blood flow in the brain and surrounding tissues. There are several types of migraines, however, they all fall into one, or one of the two categories. Migraines with aura. This type of migraine includes visual disturbances and other neurological symptoms that occur 10 to 16 minutes before the actual headache and last for about an hour. The second type is migraine without aura. A migraine without aura is more than just a headache. The pain alone is enough to stop you from carrying on your daily activities like household chores and outdoor activities. Migraine attacks are divided into five stages. Premonitory stage or warning stage describes certain physical uh, and mental changes such as tiredness, craving sweets, mood changes, and these feelings last for one to 24 hours. Number two, the aura stage. This stage can last from five to 16 minutes. For some people, changes in the cortex area of the brain cause vision impairment. Symptoms include dark spots, weakness, dizziness, sense of fear, confusion, and fainting. Number three, the headache main attack stage. Severe and unbearable head pain occurs. Nausea and vomiting can occur. Many people experience sensitivity to light or sound. Fourth stage, resolution stage, a few hours of sleep helps individuals to stop the attack. Recovery stage is the final stage, similar symptoms as stage one, like feeling hungry after losing appetite at the beginning. The, these stages only apply to adults because a child's migraine attack is much shorter. Migraines are caused based on a child's brain development long before they reach adulthood. The headache itself is brought upon by abnormal brain activity and the imbalance of serotonin in the brain. Serotonin is one of many neurotransmitters found in the brain. It's proven that under extreme levels of stress and anxiety, the brain produces large amounts of fear chemicals. What to do if you have a migraine? Exercise regularly because this can help the body release serotonin, which reduces anxiety and makes migraine less likely. Regular exercise also reduces stress and helps to maintain healthy habits. Always stay hydrated because water is a very essential nutrient for our body. What not to do when one has a migraine. Avoid salty and processed foods, avoid caffeine, and try to reduce being in sunlight or bright light as much as possible. Treatments. Pain relievers like Advil could help relieve minor migraine. Triptans are medications that are often used to treat migraine. They make blood vessels block pain pathways in the brain. Anti-nausea medication prevents nausea, one of the symptoms of migraines. Cardiovascular drugs like better blockers are used to treat high blood pressure and other heart disease to reduce the pain of migraine. Preventive medications can reduce the severity and length of migraine. However, it may take a few weeks to see improvements in your symptoms. These medications do not stop headaches completely and some drugs may cause side effects. Created using Powtoon.